Hi guys, it's uh, Jeff from Focus on Marketing again. Uh, I'm just going to do a, another uh, video for you on Facebook and uh, just trying to help you get a lot more engagement on your Facebook page and a lot more uh, activity and hopefully that will result to a lot more bookings and inquiries coming in as well. Um, now in the past videos we covered about what to post, when to post, uh, how to post it using scheduling. And, and, and also stipulating a lot that it, it's all about to do with the content. So it's got to be really good, high quality, engaging content, not self-promoting content, more storytelling. Now, <clears throat> when you do your post, uh, there's a couple of things you can do as well that can really, really help boost your post. Now, um, like I said before, engagement is going down. So organic reach is now about 1% to 2% of your total audience. So if you've got, if you've got 1,000 people on your Facebook page, maybe just 10 to 20 percent of people are actually going to see your post you need that engagement to get higher so more people like it uh, more people comment on it then facebook will allow more people to see it so that 20 people will then go up to 50 which will go up to 100 the more engagement that you get um, so there's a few th few little tips you can do to to increase your engagement um, because a lot of people are obviously getting put off and thinking oh is, you know is organic reach dead does that mean everything I do now I've got to boost or I've got to advertise on Facebook and because a majority of your competitors won't be changing the style and the way that the post will carry on doing the same thing all that's going to do is give you the better chance the, the, the edge to get into people's news feeds because the, the people the photographers whose whose pages aren't very interactive they're not going to get seen by potential customers and if you're doing the right thing, you are going to get seen by potential customers. So you're going to get a bigger share of the business. And also it means you can, you've got a good chance of getting out without using the boost button or without using Facebook as an ad. And incidentally, I wouldn't use the boost button myself anyway. I would always do that through Facebook ads and create your own custom audiences, uh, which is something I can help you with. If you've got any questions on that, feel free to drop us a message or send me an email to info at focusonmarketing.co.uk. So yeah, so what can you do to um, get a lot more engagement on the posts that you use? Well, firstly, uh, one of the key things is to create a headline. So have an attention-grabbing headline um, and, and put your headline in block capitals. Now, I would say headline would maybe be, be about uh, three or four words, not too long, because remember, majority, 80% of the people who are looking at your Facebook newsfeed are probably going to be doing it on a mobile phone. So you want a short, attention-grabbing headline, something that either makes a statement or asks a question because if people see a question um, in the mind they start to answer it and they want to, learn, they want, they want to know more so if you can ask them a question that will encourage them to read further into your post now also um, make sure your posts are nicely separated into paragraphs and every time you do a paragraph do a line return so you have a, a, a space between your first paragraph and your second paragraph there's actually a definite gap between those two paragraphs and it breaks it all up and it makes it a lot easier for people to read um, because if people are viewing it on a mobile phone and they just see a massive body of text, they're probably going to be put off. So maybe three to four set uh, lines per paragraph and three to four to five paragraphs per post. Uh, another key thing to do as well is um, keep away from using hashtags, especially mid-sentence. Don't use any hashtags mid-sentence. It puts off um, engagement. People don't like seeing hashtags mid-sentence on Facebook. Yes, it's fine on Twitter and Instagram, but it's not really the, the done thing. And, and Facebook will penalise engagement if there's a lot of hashtags in your post mid-sentence. If you're going to use your has hashtags, keep it to no more than two or three and put that right at the end of your post. Put a, a line space return down and then put your three industry-specific hashtags at the bottom. Okay, so, yeah, so don't use too many hashtags. Another thing is... Facebook wants everything on their platform. They, they don't want you going elsewhere. They want you to stay on Facebook. So if you're using um, a lot of outbound links, maybe to your website or to your YouTube channel, then you're not going to get much engagement. If you're going to do a video, yeah, upload your video to YouTube. But then if you've done the video and you've recorded it on, maybe a, uh, on your camera, then upload not the YouTube link, but upload the video itself direct to Facebook. Uh, don't upload the YouTube link because Facebook will penalise it because Facebook and YouTube don't particularly like each other anyway because the, uh, they, they, you'll see if you ever put a, a YouTube link on Facebook 
it makes it a very small thumbnail as well because Facebook don't want you to leave Facebook and go onto YouTube. They want you to stay on Facebook. So make sure you put your videos directly onto Facebook, not through any outbound link to a, to another website. And that's another thing, um, <clears throat> video. Try using a lot more video. If, you, if, you, if you're not gonna be recording video, maybe do some slideshows. Get a bit more interactive. There's actually quite a bit of free slideshow uh, software that you can use, but also you can actually create your own Facebook uh, slideshows within Facebook as well. Uh, another good tip is images. Now, a lot of photographers tend to, especially for like weddings and portraits and stuff, people tend to put a lot of um, very arty images on, especially on the wedding side. And I would always say, um, try not to go too arty, try to go more for emotion. You know, you want, you want um, close in sort of head and shoulders type images where people are laughing uh, because people react more emotionally to a photograph than they do to one that is really arty or fantastically composed. Because remember, the people who are looking at these photographs, they're not photographers. Um, they're, you know, the brides, the grooms, the, the parents with the kids. Um, so, so people aren't looking at them the same way as you look at the photograph. They're looking at that photograph from an emotional basis. So always, always be quite selective about the images you use. Uh, and another thing, if you're going to use text on images, and I see a lot of people doing this when they're creating their own little posts for adverts and special offers and stuff like that, is they put, they put far too much text on. First of all, you get penalised if you if you do put a lot of text on. Again, engagement will drop. Um, but remember, people are reading this from a mobile phone. The majority of people are going to be looking at your Facebook news feed from their mobile phone. If you've got more than three or four images, uh, three or four words on your image, it's going to make it really, really hard to read. Um, so just create a headline, put, you know, um, <clears throat> put your call to action on the image or what it is you want to, you, you want the, you know, like stop, special offer, um, or, you know, um, book now, save pounds, something like that. And then put all your information in the body text. Don't try and get everything on the image because it's just going to put people off. They're not going to be able to read it. And also you're going to get limited engagement through Facebook. Um, so anyway, I hope, I hope those, uh, uh, some interesting tips that you can put into your own posting. Um, if you, you do have any questions at all, um, just drop me a message. I'd be more than happy to help. I'll be doing some more videos on Facebook advertising uh, and how to really make Facebook advertising work for you and um, <clears throat> how to get your cost per click down as well. I'm going to be doing that over the next few days. So if you keep watching my YouTube channel or logging onto Facebook here and watching the videos or on LinkedIn, if you're watching this one on LinkedIn, promise yet yeah, I will keep them up and if there's anything else you like um, you'd like to see or you'd anything else you, you want to know about uh, you want me to do a video on uh, with regards to photography marketing or building your brand then give me a shout and I'll be you know it, it gives me more material for the next uh, the next series of videos that I'm going to do well thanks again guys and uh, catch you in the next video cheers